hello everyone welcome to this video in this video I'll be showing you uh, like how to do the annotation and how to prepare your data set for this yellow v7 so uh, to prepare your uh, annotation file okay you need a tool called label IMG uh, I think you, you would be familiar with this label IMG if you have worked in object detection before okay uh, so this is the tool actually uh, uh, I will uh, give everything in your resources section okay so that you can download and get started with so what you need to do uh, you just uh, need to click on this uh, label IMG tool okay you don't have to install anything so it will open up uh, a UI for you okay so see this is the UI of this level mg so now uh, here uh, you need to open your directory so if I show you the images so guys if you see this is my images okay I will be using this sign language detection images okay uh, this image is actually I had collected uh, so there actually you will find some activity like hello and uh, like uh, I love you and no yes please okay there are six uh, activity will get like if you do like that uh, that means you are trying to say I love you if you do like that like uh, so you are trying to say hello okay so if you are uh, if you're doing like that so you are trying to say like please okay so that's how there are uh, like six activity okay we'll get uh, so now let's start doing the annotation because this is the raw images okay if i pass these images to my model okay it, it won't be able to learn anything so to make my model understand everything okay i, I need to annotate the data so that's why i will be using this uh, annotation tool okay so uh, first of all you need to open directory okay like where you have kept your images so this is my images i have kept like all images folder so i will select the folder uh yeah select the folder okay so now uh it has opened my image here okay now what i need to do i need to uh, change save directory because uh, after doing the annotation okay where i want to uh, save all the txt file okay so that folder I, I need to select so i will select the same folder so if you see like i selected this folder so i will select the same folder here uh, select okay now here in the view section uh, there is another option called auto saving okay you can uh, like uh, mark this okay because it will auto save your image uh, annotation file and all okay and here you can see at uh, the left hand side there is an option called pascal voc okay so this is the um, coco format uh, annotation okay if you want to do in coco format then you can sa save it in pascal voc like it will save as xml file uh, but here actually we are using yellow uh, v7 okay our official version is yellow v7 so it actually always takes input as uh, yellow format so i will change to yellow okay so so it will uh, save as txt file okay now here you, you need to select create rectangle box and you need to start the annotation so this is my uh, reason of interest okay i want to detect so let's mark it as hello okay because this is the hello sign and okay okay so once it is done so i will just do the save okay now if i open my folder all image folder so here you will see uh, a file will be created called hello uh, like this uh, this txt file okay so this this was the images and with corresponding that this this was like our txt file okay now if i open the file so here you can see some coordinates points okay so what are the coordinate points you are getting here so if i show you here mm, yeah so this four coordinates po points actually it will sell okay and based on that actually it has labeled this hello as zero okay so this this uh, these are the information we need to train our model so uh, like that actually we have to do the annotation for all the images okay like presented in my folder if you see uh, we have to annotate all the images so now let's pick another example like uh, instead of hello i will pick another example like called i love you okay so now uh, if i just uh, select the rectangle box and uh, that's why I, I will select and instead of hello i will give uh, i love you okay I love you and I will do okay okay now if I save it now if I show you uh, this folder so here another uh, txt file would be created called I love you okay and these are some information and I love you has denoted with one okay this is the label they have given so that's actually we need to finish all the annotation uh, I, I have just shown you one to two images because uh, uh, just for the demonstration purpose okay but uh, how many number of images you have in the folder you need to do the annotation for all the images okay so uh, when uh, you have done the annotation okay so now what you need to do you need to prepare your folder structure okay for this yellow v7 so let me show you the folder structure like how to do that <coughs> uh, so guys uh, this is the folder structure uh, that's actually you need to uh, make like uh, first of all you need to create a folder called uh, uh, you can give any name like i have i have named it like data underscore yellow v7 okay inside that you need to create uh, some of the folder and files suppose you, you, first the first folder you need to create uh, create like images okay the and then the second folder you need to create the labels and uh, another uh, file you need to create called class classes dot names okay 
so see uh, the extension would be classes.names if I open that file uh, let me show you so guys you can see uh, classes.names okay this is the uh, file extension you need to create and inside that you will be keeping all of your name label names okay the way you have labeled your images okay the, that name actually you need to pass here like hello i love you no please thanks yes okay i had six labels so i i have kept like that so once it is done then you need to create uh, another two fo folder a uh, two file called uh, train train.txt and well well.txt okay but make sure this uh, file should be empty okay because we'll be utilizing this file later on okay now inside image folder you have to create two folder called train and validation okay inside train you will be keeping all of your training images okay like all of your training images i have kept like i have kept around 120 images for training and inside validation you, have, you need to keep your validation images like i have kept 30 number of uh, like images okay and inside labels with corresponding that images you need to keep the label file like that txt file you have Done the annotation see uh, all the annotation file you will get but make sure this txt file should be with respect to that images like inside train i have kept these images right and uh, see this is the name okay like the same name and the same txt file you need to keep inside your uh, label level folder if you see like uh, under this train i've kept the same thing okay with corresponding that in the validation folder you need to keep all the validation txt file okay so once it is done uh, so you are ready to go okay you have uh, prepared this folder instruction and all okay so now what you need to do you need to make a zip okay so like you, you need to select all the file and click on that i am using the 7 zip okay you can use uh, other uh, zipping uh, you can say tool okay so i will do the zip operation i will make a zip so guys you can see it has been zipped now what i need to do uh, uh, i will upload this data in my github okay so that i can utilize it later on so i will just open my github here so guys uh, this is my github uh, now uh, suppose I want to upload this uh, data in, in this repository so I will click on that okay now here actually what I will do I will just uh, open my folder okay open my folder and here you just need to drag and drop okay just select and paste it here okay so what it will do it will upload this data set inside your github and if you do now commit changes okay it will uh, like uh, upload this data set in, in your github repository so I have already done so I will do the cancel and uh, see i have already done this is the my data okay data uh, underscore uh, like yellow v7 okay so now uh, you need to click on that and there is a, a button called uh, download okay now if you just click on this uh, download like right click on this download so you will get uh, some of the option okay here actually you need to select copy link address okay now if i paste this link in a new tab so let me show you if i paste this link in a new tab and if i hit enter so now see it will start downloading this data okay so that is what i need okay uh, so i will be uh, using curl command to download this data okay inside my uh, google collab so it yeah it was all about this data preparation and for the for the structure creation uh, like uh, uh, video okay i think you have got it right now like how to do like uh, this uh, data annotation and how to prepare your folder structure so in our next video i'll be showing you like how to uh, use this data set okay in our collab notebook and how to download this data set and uh, i'll be showing you like uh, how to download a pretend model okay and i will show you like how to use this data for training our model so till then uh, yeah guys uh, this was uh, all about from this video and i think uh, you got it so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time